We're going to explain why your Python Jupyter notebook might be stuck on in and not running your code. This usually means the kernel, which is the thing that actually executes your Python code, has stopped responding. There are several reasons why this happens, and we'll go through the most common ones and how to fix them. 1. Kernel died. The most frequent cause is a kernel crash. This can happen due to a number of reasons. Running memory-intensive code without enough RAM, encountering a bug in your code that causes an error the kernel can't handle, or even a problem with the Jupyter Notebook server itself. The solution is simple. Click the kernel menu, select restart kernel, and then try running your code again. If the problem persists, check your code for any obvious errors, infinite loops, incorrect syntax, or attempts to access non-existent files. 2. Overburdened kernel. If you're running complex computations or large datasets, the kernel might be overloaded. This can lead to a freeze or significantly slow execution. Try breaking down your code into smaller, more manageable chunks. Run each chunk separately to see if any part is causing the issue. This allows for easier debugging and prevents the entire process from stalling. Also, ensure your computer has sufficient RAM, random access memory. Otherwise, consider using a cloud-based computing service like Google Colab or Kaggle Kernels for larger scale operations. Three, resource exhaustion. Your computer might simply lack the resources, RAM or CPU power to execute your code. Monitor your system's resource usage, CPU and memory while running your notebook. Tools like Task Manager, Windows, or Activity Monitor, macOS, can help you identify if your Jupyter Notebook is consuming excessive resources. If your system is maxed out, consider optimizing your code for efficiency, reducing the size of the data you're working with, or upgrading your hardware. 4. Network Issues, if using remote kernels. If your kernel is running on a remote server, network problems can interrupt the communication between your notebook and the kernel. Check your internet connection and ensure that there are no network outages or firewall issues preventing communication. Five, outdated packages or kernel. An outdated Python kernel or conflicting packages can lead to unexpected behavior and crashes. Try updating your Python kernel and any relevant packages using tools like pip install, upgrade package underscore name. Also, consider creating a fresh Jupyter environment using conda create and myenvpython equal sign 3.9 write single quote or similar to rule out any conflicts. 6. Code bugs. The most obvious yet often overlooked reason. A bug in your code, such as an infinite loop, a syntax error, or an attempt to access a non-existent file can easily crash your kernel. Carefully check for any errors or warnings highlighted by Jupyter and debug systematically. If none of these steps resolve the issue, you might want to consider reinstalling Jupyter Notebook or your Python distribution. Remember to save your work frequently to avoid losing progress.